class is for class 9 and the chapter that we are discussing is coordinate geometry that is chapter number 19 and we are following understanding ICC mathematics by ML Angular. Now today we will start with a formula or a, a new topic that is distance formula. What is the meaning of distance formula? So let me draw a diagram. These are my axes. This is x o x dash and y o y dash. X axis and y axis. Now suppose there are two points on this axis in the first quadrant. First point I am taking A and I am taking coordinates of A as x1 and y1. It means that this point A, its measurement on x axis is x1 units and its measurement on y axis is y1 units. Let us take another point say B over here and the coordinates of point B are x2 and y2 means the B point is x2 distance on x axis and y2 distance on y axis. Now I am joining these lines uh, these points now AB has become a straight line. AB after joining these points A and B, AB has become a straight line and we assume let the length of line AB or let the distance between point A and B is represented by D units. So this is the distance. D is the distance between what? Between the two points A and B, where coordinates of A are x1, y1 and coordinates of B are x2, y2. Now, how to find out the distance B, D between these two x, between these two points in the form of coordinate, that is what we are going to study. So, basically the formula is D is equal to under root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. This is the formula. Or even sometimes you can write x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. Because if anything in the bracket, inside the bracket is negative, after you uh, make the square of this, it will become positive, it will become positive. So these uh, hardly matter. But you need to remember 1, 2, 1, 2 or 2, 1, 2, 1. Like that it should come. Now in order to find the distance, what we do? From point A we draw a perpendicular on X axis. Let us say this as point M. It means AM distance is Y1 unit because on Y axis it is Y1 units. Similarly, from point B, we draw a perpendicular on y axis and let us name it as point N. This is 90 and this is 90. We have drawn a perpendicular, it means NB. NB is y2 units, y2 units because it is on the x axis. This distance is measured on, sorry, y axis. Now, what we do? We draw a line or from A, we draw the perpendicular on BN. Let us say this is a perpendicular on B N and A, B, C. Let us name it as C, point C. Now, we it, we can see that since we have drawn a perpendicular or a 90 degree, so A, B, C becomes a right angled triangle. So what we can say in right angled triangle A, B, C. We can apply Pythagoras theorem. We can say AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. Why? By Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. Since it is a right angle triangle, so we can apply the Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC. Since angle C is 90, so opposite side will be hypotenuse. So we know that in a Pythagoras theorem, when we apply Pythagoras theorem, it says that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares on other two sides. So I have written AB square, that was the hypotenuse. AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. So AC square plus BC square, because these are the sum of the square on the hypotenuse. 
Now we need to find the value of AB and we have considered AB as D. This total length is D from this point to this point. So we can say D square is equal to now AC point A has the same measurement on X axis as point M because this distance OM is X1 units because point A shows uh, x1 y1 so point m has x1 point the distance of uh, point m from origin is x1 units on x axis and the distance of point n is x2 units from the origin so what will be the value of mn mn will be mn will be O n minus O m from O to n minus O to m from this if we subtract this much we will be left with m n so O n O n is x2 units on x axis minus O m O m is x1 units sorry x2 x2 units and O n is O n is x2 units O m is x1 units so this distance comes to be x2 minus x1 so same this will be x2 minus x1 it means we got ac is equal to x2 minus x1 now we move on to we will try to find out the bc so we can say that bc can be written as nb minus nc nb minus n c now n b distance on y axis of point b is y2 so n b can be written as y2 minus n c is same as m a and m a is point y1 on y axis it means n c can be written as y1 this n c is equal to this this n c is equal because a m n c is a square why it is a square this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 so one is left is a 90 may be a square or a rectangle but all the angles are 90 degree so we can say that n c this side is equal to a m side and the length of a m on y axis is y1 so if a m is y1 similarly n c will also be y1 so b c comes out to be y2 minus y1 what we will do we will substitute the values of ac ac is x2 minus x1 and ac square we need so it's square plus bc bc is y2 minus y1 so y2 minus y1 whole square implies that we need to find out the value of d it means we will put a root on the uh, other side of the equal to so under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this is the formula about which we are going to study and we will be using this formula in solving the problems of the exercise now here i have written x1 minus x2 whole square or y1 minus y2 whole square if if you write x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2 it will not make any difference why it will not make any difference because both of them have a square on them and even if the difference suppose here it comes minus 3 uh, so obviously here it will come 3 but even minus 3 square or plus 3 square in any case it will become 9 so both the formula are same and they can be used any one of the formula can be used from this either only you need to check x1 if it is if you are starting with x1 then y1 should be there means x1 x2 y1 y2 or x2 x1 y2 y1 this should be remembered now we move on to the exercise that is exercise 19.4 and we will see which questions are typical so those questions i'll be discussing with you all now to start with i have taken question number one third part they say find the distance between following pair of points so these are the points a b and minus a and minus b so i'm writing a is one point and b is represented by minus a minus b 
Now you know that formula of the distance is x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So we need what? We need x1 and y1. So this is my point A. I am taking A as x1, B as y1, minus A as x2 and minus B as y2. So the distance AB, obviously the points are A and B, so the distance between them will be mentioned by AB. So we can say AB is equal to under root. Now x1 minus x2 means A minus of minus A whole square. Formula is x1 minus x2 whole square. So x1 minus of x2. So x A minus of minus A whole square plus y1. y1 is B minus of y2. y2 is minus b and its whole square. Now when you solve it out, a, when you open the bracket, a minus minus will become plus and a. So this will become 2 times of a whole square plus 2 times of b whole square. Now this can be written as 4a square plus 4b square in under roots we will take 4 common and that 4 will come out of the root. So it will become 2 times of under root a square plus b square. So this is the distance between the two points. This was the, that is the final value. Now if you, you need to remember the formula and when you remember the formula, just only calculations are there. So that can be calculated. Now we move on to the Third question. What is the third question? I will do the third question. Question number three. Next question I am taking it as question number three. Find the value of A. You have to find the value of A. If the distance between the points A. Points are given. A is minus 3 comma minus 14. A point A is given minus 3 comma minus 14. And B is given point B is given A comma minus 5. A comma minus 5 is 9 units and they say distance between A and B. It means that AB or you can say small d is given to you as 9 units. This we have to, it is given 9 units. In this we have to find out the value of A and A appears in B. Now what we'll do? Again, first point can be considered as x1 and uh, abscissa. Ordinate can be considered as y1. In the second point, abscissa can be considered as x2 and uh, ordinate can be considered as y2. Now we know that AB can be written as under root. AB means distance. Can be written as x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. AB is given to us as 9. So we will put the value as 9 is equal to under root x1 is minus 3 and x2 is a. So we will write minus 3 minus a whole square. x1 minus x2 x1 is minus 3 minus a whole square plus y1 y1 is minus 14 and minus of minus 5. Minus of minus 5. So this can be written like this and whole square. Now when you solve it out. Before solving what we are going to do. We are squaring both the sides. So this root cancels and we will get a proper number. So 9 square is 81. Is equal to this becomes minus 3 and minus a whole square. When you square it. Basically what you can do, you can take minus common and you are left with 3 plus a and then you can put a square like this and plus. This is plus 5 and minus 14. Minus 14 and plus 5 is minus 9. 14 and uh, is minus 9 square. So this can be written as when you square this, this will finally come as 3 plus a whole square plus minus 9 square is also 81 and this is also 81. So this 81 and this 81 cancelled 
it means 3 plus a whole square is equal to 0 implies that 3 plus a whole square is equal to 0 implies that 3 plus a is also is equal to 0 implies that a is equal to minus 3 so what is the value of a value of a is minus 3 this is how we calculate now we move on to the next question that will be the fourth question it has three parts so i'll be doing the third part now next question is question number four third part why i have taken this everything is based on this formula only but you need to read the question it has something so to build up your concept now what do they say i read out the question Find the point or points. What do you have to find? You have to find the point and then they say oblique points. It means it is possible that there will be two answers or more than one answers for this question because already it is mentioned find the point or the points means it may be possible that more than one point exists. Then they say uh, which are at a distance of root 10 units so distance among the points is given root 10 units from a point which is 4 comma 3 whose coordinates are 4 comma 3 so I have taken this point 4 comma 3 as a point A and the second point that we have to found uh, that you have to find is I have taken it as uh, its coordinates as x comma y then one more thing is given root 10 units from the point given that the ordinate of the point is twice the abscissa means the point that we have to find its ordinate is two times of abscissa we know that abscissa is written by y so two times of y is equal to x Ab ordinate is sorry ordinate is y and it's they say 2 times is its abscissa means y is 2 times of x this is given for which point for the point which we have to find out and that is point b it means in place of y we can substitute 2x means this y can be written as 2x now so i have distance we know that distance is equal to under root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square distance is given under root 10 so i am writing under root 10 is equal to under root now x1 can be this 4 can be x1 and this x can be x2 it means 4 minus x 4 minus x whole square plus y1 can be 3 minus y2 can be y or instead of y we can write 2x so I am writing directly 2x whole square now you can see both the sides of the equal to they we have roots so if we square both the sides these root will vanish so here only I am cutting but for you all you may write squaring the squaring both sides both sides is squaring both sides what do we get after squaring this root 10 will convert as 2 this will become as 4 minus x whole square plus 3 minus 2x whole square now only calculation part is there so this will be 10 is equal to a minus b whole square is a square 4 square 16 plus b square that is x square minus 2ab means minus 4 to the 8x plus 3 minus 2x 3 square a square is 9 plus b square that is 4x square minus 3 to the 6 to the 12x means both these are opened with the formula a minus b whole square we know that a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab so a square plus b square minus 2ab plus a square plus b square minus 2ab now when we solve them out 16 and 9 is 25 x square plus 4x square is plus 5x square and minus 8 and minus 12 is minus 20x is equal to 10 you can see this whole equation can be divided by 5 so to make it small to make the calculations little bit easy what we are doing 
we are dividing both the sides by 5. So it will come 5 2s are 10, 5 5s are 25 plus x square minus 4x. Now this whole equation if I take 2 to that side it can be written as x square minus 4x and 2 goes to that side 5 minus 2 is 3 so plus 3 is equal to 0. We got a quadratic equation. Now this can be solved. 3 1s are 3 and 3 and 1 is 4. So what we can do? This can be written as x square minus x and minus 3x. Splitting the middle term. 4 can be written as minus 4 can be written as minus 1 and minus 3 and then plus 3. So from this we can take common. If we take x common from this we are left with x minus 1 and in the second we take minus 3 common we are left with x minus 1 is equal to 0 and now we will take x minus 1 common what is left with us x minus 3 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 1 or 3 now we got two points when the value of x will be 1 when the value of x will be 1 I am writing it here when x is equal to 1, y will be, because we know y is 2 times of x, so y will be 2 into x, that is 2. So one point we are getting as 1 comma 2. And when x is equal to 3, the other value of x was 3, so when x is 3, then y will be 2 into x, that is 2 into 3, that is 6, so the point will be 3 comma 6. So there are two points basically which satisfy the given conditions. So and the question was find the point or the point. So basically it was there are two points that we have to find. One point is 1 comma 2 and the other point is 3 comma 6. So uh, this is all about this. Now let's see what is there in the next. Now uh, with this question number 4. I come to an end of the class. The rest of the questions will be done in the next class. So till then keep on studying, keep on uh, watching and please do like so that I may understand that you are watching and understanding. Thank you all of you. Stay blessed.